Okay, this is GCSE Biology Required Activity 10. So we're, today we're looking at investigating the effect of temperature on the rate of decay of fresh milk by measuring a pH change. To do this, we're going to be using several chemicals today. Um, we're going to be using uh, lipase, which is an enzyme. We're going to be using full fat milk here. And then we're also going to be using a, a chemical called phenolphthalene, or fe yeah, phenolphthalene. Uh, it's very hard to say, and sodium carbonate, which is an alkaline solution. So what I've done is I've set up these four test tubes. You can see one of them is labelled lipase. Okay, so you label it lipase, and the other has milk, but obviously it's got other things in it, and I'm going to explain what else is in it. So you measure out some milk. Um, once you've measured out the milk, you need to then add five drops of phenolphthalene. And once you've done that, you then need to add an alkaline solution. So I'm going to add an amount of sodium carbonate into the, here. So if you watch, what it will do is it will go pink because phenolphthalene goes pink. So here we go. There we go. So before we can actually add the lipase to the milk, what we're going to do is we're going to put them into different water baths because if I remind you, we're going to look at the effects of temperature. So in this case, what I've got is a, a cold water bath. Um, remember to measure the temperature of that water bath. And then here I've got some hot water, which I have got from the kettle over here. It doesn't need to be too hot, um, so it doesn't need to be boiling. So I'm going to place it there and put a thermometer in the water. And then you place two tubes into the hot water and two tubes into the cold water. Now, notice I'm not mixing them together at the moment. The reason is that I don't want the lipase to start breaking down the fats in the milk. I want them to get to the same temperature okay, as the water bath and then I can then add them. Uh, and what I will do in a minute, I will add them and I will measure the time it takes for the pink indicator to go colourless. The reason it goes colourless is that the lipase is an enzyme that breaks down fats. So it will break down fats into fatty acids. And the, the acid will basically turn the phenolphthalein colourless. Um, because it's only pink in an alkaline solution. So we will be uh, measuring the time it takes for it to go colourless. Okay, it's now been a few minutes. Uh, so basically we've allowed the temperature of what's in the test tube to be the same as what's in the water bath. I'm going to measure the temperature here and the temperature is 10 degrees C. So I'm going to just put that on my table of results here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the tubes together and time time it takes for the pink colour to disappear in seconds and I'm going to do this three times so you would set up usually three uh, sets of tubes and repeat the experiment three times to find a mean value. So okay here we go so I'm going to add the lipase to the milk okay and then place it back down into the water. I'm going to start my stopwatch, okay? Now, it's important that you give it a shake every now and then, okay? But you can see that it's still pink. Um, so the lipase hasn't broken down the uh, milk fats yet into fatty acids, but you might just be able to see it's starting to change colour. And what you do is that you continue um, recording until that goes basically stops being pink. So the pink color disappears. Okay, so it's still there and you would keep timing. So once it's gone colorless, it will look something like this. Okay, so this is one I made earlier. So you can see that it has gone colorless. Okay, so you can no longer see the pink color. So Looking back at our results table, what you would do is probably uh, do this with 
uh, five temperatures. So let's say we could do it at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 degrees C. Okay, and you would repeat the experiment three times and find a mean. Just to talk a bit about what a mean value is, a mean value is basically the three results that you'd have got at a certain temperature. You add them up and divide by the number of times you did the experiment, which was three. And then we can find a mean value. This makes the data more reliable. Um, and then you can use that to plot a graph. And that is the required practical activity.